Hello, Salaya here and welcome to another episode of Soviet Republic Workers and Resources. Welcome to our Democratic People's Republic of Utopia. And in this episode, we're going to build some essential industries we need to get our republic going, such as power industries, power lines, and also some construction industries, cement and concrete factories, steel mill, and so on. So let's start with the power plant. Let's start with the power plant. <coughs> Sorry. Power plant, power plant, where is it? Energy related. We can build a, this smaller cover, coal power plant, but we can also build a modded one, a bigger power plant, which might be a good option. Look, this is actually like gives four times more output than the first one. You know what? Let's build this one. Let's build a modded one. I hope it's not. It is bigger than the original one. View. How is big the smaller one? Much smaller. Oh, look how bigger this bigger one is. Oh, huge stuff. Never mind. Let's try to build it somewhere. Let's zoom out a little bit. And let's try to build a modded power plant somewhere here. And it has quite a lot of outputs as well. You know what? This thing is so huge that I'm not sure we are going to be able to build it anywhere. Oh no. Very, very huge. You really need a really, really flat terrain to build it like anywhere humanly possible. I've never built it before. I just downloaded the mod from the workshop to see how it works. And honestly, I don't like how it works as where can you build this giant thing? Never mind. Let's stick with the original power plant, which actually is has pretty good size and gives pretty good output for most of the things you're going to need in a whole game. And if it's not enough, we're going to later just build another one, so not a big deal. Even this one is not easy to fit here, look. Wow, well can we fit this thing? Help. Oh, we can fit it here. Cool. We can even fit it nicely in a nice angle. Well, let's fit it there. Can we fit it somewhere closer a little bit? Probably no. No, oh, not really. What about like this? No. Here. No. Here maybe. Now let's fit it right there where we found the original place for it. Ah, pretty good here, right? Uh, 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 come on. <laughs> come on. Where was it? Uh, I found it. Alright, let's build it like this. So leveling terrain doesn't cost us anything because we have bulldozers and machines. So you really get to save a lot of money there. Here it goes. Very well. Very nice. And let's bring a coal to the whole system. So we're going to need one more conveyor for it. Not pads, conveyors, sorry. We're going to need one conveyor engine over here. I think it's going to be enough. Yes, probably will. I mean, here it's too tight. Probably you cannot build a conveyor from here to here. Let's try. Probably won't work. Oh, look at that. It does work. Well, pretty neat. Even better. Cool. Let's, let's build it right there. Now let's actually enable auto building with rubles for this thing to build. Here it goes, there it goes. All right. And our power plant is going to be completed as well. All right, build it with rubles. All right, power plant built. Now, building the power lines is honestly a task on its own. Why? Because I want to build power lines that can, uh, that can use the power from the power plant. And if it, start, if it stops working for some reason, it can also draw power from the imported grid. 
so we can import power from those uh, border crossings as you've seen but if you bring um, if you bring let's say a power line if you bring power line from here let's say where do we have these power lines power lines power lines power lines oh where are they at no not here here if you bring directly power line from here power if you bring it directly to our power plant over there it isn't going to go two ways so if you bring it like that we can export the power from power plant to the grid we've connected to or we can import it from the grid to the power plant but if we import it from the grid to the power plant it will not go out to the households now that's pretty stupidly made that's why we need to make a circle a switch and in one switch we bring the power from the power plant and from the important imported grid and from there we distribute it to the community because only in that way it can work both ways both from power plant it can go to community from imported power it can go to community and power plant can also export it as well so we are going to be the grid like that and connected to two different uh, two different systems we are going to connect it to exporting to the western countries and export it to the socialist countries and have a grid for our citizens so not very easy task to build let's try to build so let's build where is a power connections line here it is so as you see our power plant has two high voltage outputs and it has uh, four I think medium voltage outputs here they are how are we going to connect well we're going to connect them like this we're going to need first a high voltage switch here it is this one what does this switch do I will show you and we're actually going to build two switches one switch right here okay leveling cost money because we were enabled using it we're using rubles for it so we're going to build two switches like this and then we're going to connect uh, uh, power plant output high voltage output to the one end of the one switch here and then we are going to connect these two switches right here and then what are we going to do we are going to take power uh, output we are going to connect this output here with a western country so we can buy power from it and sell power to it and also use it in a grid if we need and we're going to do the same thing with the communist country now that's not very cheap in the beginning but still let's do it because we can right away export or import power as we see fit so let's build a power line directly from here and let's take it all out there out here maybe no not here up there to the ooh, where is it here it is up all the way here so let's build like this here it goes it's going to be cheaper this way than down there I think maybe down there is going to be cheaper let's check it out let's go down 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 the border so 130,000 to build here or I don't like when it goes so much down it's going to no 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 let's go back up I'm sorry actually let's cancel the line let's go back up here and draw it from here draw it all the way to our power plant directly closest way possible we're going to edit that a little bit later if we need to and let's connect it right here okay right there okay so it's going to be built and another one we are going to connect with a communist country down there or up there right or on the complete other side of the map even. well why not 
and let's connect this one well maybe we can just take it here directly a little bit more expensive but a little bit more convenient for further construction or maybe we can take it down there rather like it more to bring the power lines here yep actually let's do that that way let's bring this power this power line all the way to our power plant which is going to cost a lot of money but in the time we are going to recoup that money from the power exporting and importing you will see so 190,000. Let's build it. We are going to need it that way. So let's build this power line here.
right, so we had a lots of lots of problems with audio. I don't even know when it was turned off. <laughs> All right, so sorry for audio, but um, you've seen what I had to do here. Honestly, no, no words needed to explain lots of things anyway. So let's just build these factories. Now we built the power plants, the system I told you before. Let's just repeat it quickly. So we had to build power like we did. Why? Because if we build output only here and bring it to our community, we cannot use the power that we import from communist countries or Western countries because that power isn't get drawn to the power plant. That's why we had to build lots of switches. Now from here we can use power, we can bring power to our community directly from the power plant or from imported, imported let's say import line one, import line two, or we can export power to one line, import from the other and use it use it here it's going to work completely well same for this high voltage line so that's why we had to build switches like this and you've seen how we built all those mines we built the mines the way we did the way we can so we built quite a lots of industries here we built a power plant here we built a um, here we built a cement plant, we built a concrete plant and we built a prefab panels plant. Okay, now what, what else we need here is we need a brick plant and we need a woodwork, woodwork plant, like plank mill and so on. And let's build all those things and let later we can electrify all of this, electrocute, electrify, whatever. So let's build what we need. We are going to need, we are going to build asphalt plant somewhere here as well, and we are going to build one more gravel storage, I think. Yes, we're going to have to build one more gravel storage, as we're going to need the gravel for construction. Maybe even one more gravel mine. Where I'm going to think about it. So, let's build one more gravel storage over here. because we are going to need that. Let's take this, uh, I don't know, just a gravel processing. Where is the small aggregate storage? Here it is. So let's, let's make one right here. If we can, we can put it like this. Uh, okay. All right. All right, here it is. Why did we do that? Because we're going to need gravel for the construction gravel itself, and we are going to need it from the asphalt. And this here storage already feeds like two fact, three factories. It feeds the cement building plant, concrete building plant, and prefab panels building plant. So I think it's too many mouths to feed and we're not going to have a lots of gravel left for a construction itself. So let's put some gravel also to this small storage, if it's anyhow possible. We're going to need one more inch. Okay. Here it is. There it goes and uh, there it goes. And from here we can we can have a gravel reserves for construction and also we can be build asphalt. Uh, asphalt, asphalt, asphalt. Where is the asphalt? Here it is. Yes, it needs gravel and bitumen. We're going to build uh, oil industry later and also bitumen industry there. New vehicle, okay, new combine vehicle we have available for purchase. All right. So, where can we build the asphalt plant? Well, somewhere here, actually. Let's build it right away, why not? Can we build it, like, right here, actually? And just bring a pipe to it later from somewhere? We could. Let's build it here. So 
So this is our asphalt plant. Let's connect it with uh, this kind of connection. Really? <laughs> okay. Hill is causing obstructions here, so let's try some other way. Let's try to level terrain a little bit, if it's anyhow possible. Seems it is. Okay. And let's try to build the asphalt factory again. Alright. So the, 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 the needed connection as well. Can we do it now? We can. Good. Now we have gravel that feeds the asphalt factory. And later we're just going to bring a pipe from the pipeline. Right here. Here goes the pipe. From some pipeline that will take bitumen there. And we're going to be able to create, let's say, uh, all of these things. Now... Also, we have these bricks and this stuff, and that's very nice and fine and dandy, but one more step I wanted to do is, can I actually build some kind of a storage there for finished products, for finished, uh, well, concrete not, but maybe finished prefab panels, why? Because we might want to export the panels, so some kind of a train loading here might be a good idea to build. Let's see what do we have available. These industry connections only here and here. Uh, not very cool, but never mind. Can we build some kind of open storage? Medium one here. We could. We could connect it. Well, truck has to truck has to transport. Truck is going to have to transport these things for us. Yes, we're going to have to. We can build like a train loading station here. But then the truck will have to bring all the goods. Yes, truck will have to bring the panels to the loading station. Okay, that's something we can do that later. Honestly, exporting panels isn't really a good thing because they're not paid very well. They're not paid a lot of money. Let me show you that thing. Prices, so let's see. Uh, here it is, prefab panels, only 20. So that's not really a good price. You want to export something more expensive. You want to export, uh, let's say, chemicals, or you want to export steel at least. Steel has a good price. It's a decent price. Even bitumen or fuel have a pretty good export price. But basically something that's, I don't know, more, more uh, $100 or rubles or more expensive than that. Exporting prefab panels isn't going to bring you a lot of money. A whole train full of prefab panels is going to bring you like six or $7,000, which really isn't a lot of money. So exporting prefab panels, nor bricks for that matter, not very profitable things. So we might don't even have to bother with exporting those. Can we actually export cars, I'm wondering? Electronics, plastics, components? No. We cannot export cars. But we can export electronics, which we definitely will do. Electronic components, mechanics, plastics, clothes, chemicals. So these things are worth exporting. What about textile? We can export cement. We might as well do that, but also not very, very good export price. So you don't have to bother with exporting that. All right, so we have pretty much everything we need. Let's set up a brick factory and also let's set up a uh, planks factory. So that's the everything we are going to need for construction industry. So where is a brick factory? It's easy to set a brick factory. You only need the coal to make bricks. So probably one of the easiest factory to set up. Okay, this is a woodwork here, but where is the brick factory? Brick, 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 brick. Here it is, brick factory. And we are going to take some of the coal needed for the power, I think. What is this coal plant feeding? This coal plant, this is uh, iron, okay. This... What is... Oh my... Coal mine? But iron processing plant. Oh. Iron plant. 
iron ore. Okay, we're going to replace this processing plant with a coal processing plant. So this plant here is a mistake. It should have been for a coal, not iron. They look the same, not my mistake. Uh, sorry, so let's tear this one down and these nearby connections. And we're going to be good. All right. What's wrong with this? Okay, construct. Uh. Okay, we have a grid built here, everything, every connection is properly built, yes it is, all right, all right, this one isn't good. Okay. All right. This factory takes a long time to complete. Okay, so we need a coal processing plant here, not the iron plus processing plant here. So coal, 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 coal. Where is it? Coal processing plant. Here it is. Okay, so we're just going to fit this one instead. Not a big deal. Ah, like this. Pretty good. And connections. So here they go. One goes here. And incoming goes here. There it is. So, this coal processing plant will feed, already feeds, the cement plant. Yes. And basically nothing else. Well, that's pretty cool. It can maybe feed the brick factory as well, and this upper one could feed the steel mill. Yep, it would be more convenient that way, honestly. Okay, so let's set up a brick factory here. easy to set up uh, not really well placed connections there honestly well never mind the truck can do the pretty good job there because it's pretty near kind of okay all right so we're going to use truck for it mm, pretty good to build a street right now or there is uh, I was I was afraid it's not going to work okay let's demolish the building and let's try to level this terrain a little bit This processing plant is going to have a hard time accessing to it. What about the bridge? Yeah, well, look how far away it has to go. Uh, I don't know, man. What about these connections? Can we make them a little better? if we what if we do this a second we 
can simply feed coal from here. All right, so just bring this down, tick. not a problem. Okay, so let's build our coal factory here. Not the coal factory, so a brick factory. Let's build our brick factory here, and coal is going to come from over there. Yep, seems pretty neat. Okay. There he goes. Very good. All right, so let's build a connection, connection, connection from here. Okay, pretty good. It's going to work. Brick factory set up. Cool. Now let's set up a steel mill. And then, 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 where is the steel mill? It's honestly not easy to locate all of these factories. Steel mill, here it is. So let's see how can we organize that. A coal can run from here and uh, iron can run from there. So steel mill will have to be organized somewhere like here. Wherever it's possible. As you see, it's not very easy to fit such a huge building anywhere so easily so let's see where can we fit it at all you have to fit it somewhere still is very important actually oh come on well, not a bad deal over here yep pretty decent deal That's good. And let, let, let's feed all the beast. How can we feed it? Let's see. Can we feed it directly from here? Probably not. Oh, too, too difficult. But can we feed it? Probably we can feed it from here. Here and then here and then from here. Let's see how does that work. Works pretty well from here and here and here. Good. And how does it work from here? Uh -huh. Well, works pretty well. So brick factory is set up, resources set up there, and also steel mill is set up. Now let's bring, bring power also to steel mill because it needs directly high voltage power for the steel works, you know. And that's why I left those two here. So this high voltage can go directly to our power plant. Like this. Okay, so here it goes, like this, pretty neat.
Okay, so industry is all set up and connected. All construction industry is set up and connected, except maybe for asphalt industry. So we will have to set up oil industry so we can set the asphalt running and flowing, right? And we are going to do that as well. For now, I think this episode is good. Let's end this episode right here. And we are going to electrify this mining and construction industry in the next episode and make oil industry and bring bitumen to asphalt plant and then we're going to start making our settlement for our workers so thank you very much for coming like and subscribe sorry for the audio issue you haven't missed anything important there really and uh, see you in the next episode bye bye